Hey everybody, today I have a unboxing of a masterpiece Hasbro Prowl. And so as you can see it is Toys R Us exclusive and when I found it today at the local Toys R Us here in Clearwater it there was a three or four or more of those on a shelf along with the sunstorm probably four boxes of sunstorm as well okay so as you can see here's an Autobot um, there's a little bio if you would like to read it just freeze it I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer you can freeze it and read it um, on the back you can see there is a Optimus Prime uh, it's a uh, masterpiece Optimus Prime uh, trailer uh, car mode and robot mode as well uh, nothing much going on on the top except uh, uh, except on some uh, Chinese I would say or Japanese uh, leathers on the bottom nothing special as well so let's go ahead and open this guy and see what's inside okay okay so we have a manual and we have prowl in his robot mode along with this cannon his rifle so let's take it out and there's no tape all around you can just pop it open like so and here is his rifle which converts in order to attach it to the roof in, in the car mode so it's this and we have masterpiece prowl oops okay in his robot mode right here so let me just adjust the camera for you okay like so and here we go uh, those of you who collects masterpieces already know uh, pretty much this figure it was taken from the Takara the the version and sadly it is priced the same as Takara, which is $75 with a tax here in Florida. So around 70 bucks. Um, you can see uh, his head spins. It doesn't, it doesn't go. Oh, it does. Okay, it goes up as well. Uh, no light piping of any, of any kind. Uh, his eyes are blue probably not picked up by the camera um, and his head spins then you have shoulder cannons over here and his arms go up they're on a ball joint right there and there's a there's a I think it's a ball joint as well over there there or just a hinge but you can spin the arms all you please there's a double el double elbow one two wrists uh, wrist spins and his palms open uh, there is no individual uh, fingers uh, posability they move all the four Move together and no thumb possibility about uh, movement as well, articulation as well. Uh, his waists 
are spinning that's okay um, ties spin and go back and forward knees almost like a double joint on the knees right here and inside for the transformation and his feet are basically the whole back section of the car mode with the wheel and the heel for main muffler in the car mode so okay uh, you can attach the cannon in his hand just like with any other masterpiece there's a groove right there in his palm where you basically put it in snap it and push it in a little bit and here we go he's got his cannon well it's a nice figure i have to say uh, for those who like masterpieces but kind of small um, and I, I'll bet it's even smaller in a car mode and um, it's I don't know uh, 75 bucks hmm don't really feel like it uh, I I understand if it's $75 for the Japanese market but because everything is more expensive in Japan but over here mm, I just don't get it uh, if you compare it to other figures that you can buy uh, yeah granted they're not masterpiece uh, figures but uh, masterpiece what is masterpiece other than name right I mean really in all reality it's just a plastic figure and and I don't know I'm not sure but uh, anyway um, I'm not gonna transform him on the camera right here since there's a tons of videos uh, video reviews of transformation so I'm just gonna skip it straight to the car mode so let me just transform him off camera and see what it's all about in a car mode and and um, I'll give you my opinion if I think it's worth it so I'm going to transform him and for you it's gonna be just the fraction of a second so maybe a second okay let's do it okay so here we have a prowl in his car mode and as you can see uh, there's an option to attach the cannon on the top of his roof and um, he's fairly small he's a I would say deluxe class figure size as you can see uh, I can compare him here with a uh, Dark of the Moon Bumblebee uh, the size wise you can see he's a little bit longer maybe like three quarters of an inch or so um, but I have to say uh, in my opinion is it worth $75 including tax my opinion no it is not uh, I'm sorry and I can hear already boo you know whatever uh, yeah no this is not $75 worth of plastic okay um, 
I guess the Hasbro borrowed the price from Takara because $75 is the price point of Takara, uh, Prowl and other uh, deluxe class uh, masterpieces and no it is not worth of $75 uh, you don't have opening doors if you open them there's just a kibble inside uh, no rubber wheels just a plastic nothing special I mean there's nothing nothing that I see would be $75 worth I mean um, you compare it to the Bumblebee which is the same plastic almost the same size same open the door nothing there and this is $12 Okay, it was $12. Okay, that's fine. $12 is fine. $75, uh-uh, not fine. Uh, definitely not worth it, in my opinion. I mean, I know there's um, uh, Masterpiece fans, die-hard fans, that they just, you know, I have to get it, whatever price. No, no, don't get it for whatever price. I mean, not the Hasbro version, and quite frankly, not the... Takara version because I don't that's just the price point for Japanese market they everything is more expensive in Japan so no I would I wouldn't no um, remember the human alliance figures I mean let me adjust the camera a little bit for the size and I can show you okay you see this figure okay this is in my opinion, way better figure, way more detailed. It has some playability with it in both modes. As you can have a little figure you can put inside, put him on a bicycle, a uh, motorbike. motorbike. Uh, you can, uh, you have a spring-loaded weapon, you can shoot. Um, there's a removing visor. There's uh, so many, so many beautiful things about Human Alliance figures. I mean the real human alliance, I'm not talking about that little crappy, uh, you know, uh, other figures that they were like, uh, I don't know, mistake I would say, but these like Barricade, uh, Jazz, uh, Bumblebee, uh, Mudflap, uh, well Mudflap was more or less for uh, Japanese um, market, but the uh, skits, uh, these are the figures that, if you compare it to this guy, in my opinion, they're worth more. And they were 30 bucks when they were new. So what the hell has, bro? I mean, these were 30 bucks. This is twice as more expensive. Are you kidding me? First of all, it's smaller. Second of all, uh-uh. No, I'm, I just cannot justify $75 price point for this figure. Um, I don't know, uh, you may disagree, but uh, that's my opinion. I'd rather pay 50 bucks for this guy than for so-called masterpiece, okay? No, hell no. So, that's just my opinion, but um, don't take my word for it. Uh, I'm sure if you decide to go for it, you like it, okay? That's, that's your opinion, um, but... Like I said, my opinion, no, it's not worth it. It would be worth it. What I would pay for this guy, I would pay top maybe $25. That's what I would pay. So, this definitely goes back to Toys R Us. I mean, no, I'm not very happy with it. So, like I said, that's just me. Uh... I'm not trying to make any enemies, I'm just stating my and my solely uh, opinion, okay? And I'm entitled to it and that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this figure. So uh, I hope I didn't make any enemies. <laughs> uh, and if I do, if I did, um, I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. Uh, please, uh, if you're, if you're uh, willing to stay with me and follow me, 
do so via Facebook at facebook.com slash Customs or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me as well with my progress pictures videos and uh, unboxing and so so this has been an unboxing and little opinion review of masterpiece prowl thanks for watching